Alright, so it's been a while since we've been at the screen, but something I'm going to point out. There's no way to copy, and I feel stupid for forgetting that. So what should have been happening is that uh, as I was progressing through the game, I should have been playing along on a second profile uh, to keep up with my own progression. That's basically how you copy a save. There's no other way to rotate saves otherwise, meaning if I mess up and lose the footage or anything to any of this, it's done. Also, I've temporarily turned on the fusion suit because uh, we didn't get really a look at the various suit variant, which I kind of would have liked to, but what are you going to do? So the whole reason that we went across this wayward way, in addition to me getting that little save point, uh, was because, speaking from a technical standpoint, this is the faster way to be able to go back and forth between the face on mines and talent overworlds and other stuff. Because if I hadn't done this way, I would have had to go through the pirate frigate where there's really nothing for us to get to. Uh, and a couple other problems. So, this just works out better. Because, uh, in all honesty, I would have preferred doing all the extra stuff and getting the bonus stuff than having to keep, uh, keep on going through with what we were doing already. So, uh, a few things... <laughs> Sorry for the cough immediately. Um, you know, those little areas that we couldn't access before, there's only a few that exist in the whole game at this point. Like uh, back here in Magmore, the only thing to come back here for at this point is pickups, which I think we have all of them from this point, and the artifact or the artifact or two that are there. Uh, back here in Fiondra, we didn't get any artifacts, so there's still two here. But there's no other little areas to pick up items. Uh, and in the talent overworld, I think there should still be uh, one other artifact to pick up. And I don't remember where it is, but it's somewhere. As for the phase on mines, there is still quite a few pickups, uh, including a whole area that we haven't explored yet, which is going to lead into a boss fight. Uh, and also, I went down this tunnel just to see if we could access it. Nope, there's a barrier blocking us. So that's going to be one pickup right there. Uh, that should be another pickup. And then also, we're going to be getting our last few um, beam combos soon. So the ones that we're missing are the flamethrower, which is the mix-up for the plasma beam, which is just like the wave beam, a continuous blaster, and the ice beams one, which I don't remember the name of because I never really uh, bothered to get this one on my own, I kind of just used the, uh, an action replay to glitch it into the system, because I was a little bit lazy like that. I eventually figured out where it was, but I, it wasn't important, and I didn't remember the name of it. It is, uh, like the power missile, or the super missile, however, in that it effectively does a single charge-up style, like, you know, how we've been doing it already. Uh, and also, since we have so many upgrades to this point, I'm going to just kind of be push, 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 you know? Because uh, if you look at other Let's Players, at this point, they're far further, but that's because I don't remember everything, and I had to use a map to start up. Right now, everything's been done so far since the last time I referred to the maps from memory, which uh, the last time I referred to a map was at around episode 12 or 14, I believe. Really bad memory there. Nice job. It's also annoying how they had you switch to the wave beam after using the ice beam to open that door. I don't get that. Like, they could have just left it as the previously indicated beam, right? Well, anyway, let's just show how much wreckage this does. Four shots and you're down because of this fire effect. Yep. Out of all the beams, this is legitimately the strongest, mostly because uh, it, it's actually pretty easy to aim, and that fire effect is so nasty. Like, I think he'll die just from this, but... Yeah, he did. <coughs> Ugh. Very bad voice. Very bad. Sorry about that. So yeah, usually people wind up walking around with a plasma beam out because it really does do the most damage. Uh, and... The earliest time you can access it is when you have the grapple beam and the, uh, the frickin' spider ball. So once you've acquired both of those, you can access it. Uh, because I do believe it required the use of the grapple beam to start, 
but if there's some way to get around the grapple beam part, then you only need the spire ball. And if you could do that, oh my god, that would make the game so much easier. I want to know that now, if you can actually access it without it. Oh, hey, another pirate. So just to prove a point, yeah, usually that will uh, eviscerate them harder than even the super missile does right now. So I believe this is the way that we want to go, and I'm just going to check it once I'm up here. Uh, by going here, we can get right to the green, and the green will lead us right here. Yeah, yeah, this is this is the way we want to go. The thing that kind of sucks, though, is the plasma beam is used to open the uh, least area accessibility points in the whole game. Other beams are used uh, far more commonly. Oh my god, I'm bad with that today. Okay, so we go like this. There we go. And go down here. Okay, so if I do this right, should just be able to get up here in no time. Let's hope I can do it right. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I, I did really bad on that before. And also, my voice might flux while I'm doing this, just because my nose is quite stuffed, and I forgot to blow it in between episodes. Oh, good lord, that sounded so weird. This is the way we're going to go. God, these guys have such a weird design choice in their freaking own base. It's like confusing. Oh, damn it. I was trying to hope I could get through that without being hit once, but oh well. You know, what are you going to do? I feel like that is pretty tough to get through without being hit. If somebody could figure out a way to get through that without being hit, I think they actually deserve something because it's really tough at times to do that. Actually, just kind of in general, it's tough to do that. So, I don't know. <laughs> Consider me just babbling on right here. Hey, at least it takes care of those guys. Alright, so we don't want to go towards the yellow. I think we want to go the required way. Ah, uh, yes. The, inf yeah, the infamous required path. Who could hate it any more than a speedrunner? Which I'm not. I reference speedrunning because Metroid, as far as I know, is like a majority of the quote-unquote metagame players, if you would even consider any metagame in this, uh, would be speedrunners. Like, once you know how to speedrun this game, I'd say you're, you're like top-tier metagaming. Okay, you're you're not nice. How many more you bastards are there? Yeah, special trained assassins in my ass. I like annoying fucks with invisibility. You can see you, I know that, right? Just like I said. Highly trained fucking elite soldiers, my ass, more like annoying fucks with invisibility cloaks. Oh yeah, and since we have the fan going, the puffers won't spawn here. Wait, do they spawn here? No, they will no longer spawn here, so this is no longer a viable uh, grinding point. Which is okay, because now you should have access to the uh, heal station nearby. But there still are... Yeah, just like I thought. Wave troopers. So just be careful with your missile supply, and you should be okay. I mean, I think uh, one of the first times you come back to this area, you will wind up uh, turning on one of those Omega Pirates. That's the problem. These guys are the ones that I'm most annoyed by, because they use your own tech. The, the good side to it is you get to use that beam, and it's a good way f uh, from a game design point of view... Uh, to make the player remember their weaponry, especially when you give them the ability to switch. But at the same time, it's annoying because it does it's like so much damage. Like these piss soldiers, like they do like ten damage a shot or something. And my normal beam 
it would be the base game damage of one. So it's just like, really? Does the power beam have that much strength to it? Or like, you know? It's kind of just like match the color, really. It's also weird how um, usually it has uh, such a orange tint to it for the regular power beam, but yet they're lemon piss colors. Oh. Well, hey there, how you doing? I don't mean to... In oh, wait, I didn't scan you? What the fuck? I should have already had these. Oh, maybe because this is when I died. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Well, it seems I met the game's criteria of being ready to fight the Omega Pirates. That's why he's finally up. How about you do your Quake Smash? Yep, that's it. Probably would have been even easier if I used this, but whatever. Only 50 energy? Oh, you dropped two. Nice. I like it. And then you guys use the ice beam. So I'm going to kill you guys and then save. There we go. Now this would be a point where I really wish I had save ability. Oh, it'd be so nice if I could save right now. I'm also going to point out, uh, for the most part, power bombs aren't needed too much beyond getting the X-ray visor. There's not a lot of enemies that you need to fight from this point forward that will need them. Maybe this next boss fight, but because there are so few, the game allows you to have at a time. Uh, from the smart game dev perspective, they made it less of a requirement,al item. So if you're worried about your power bombs. Don't worry, really, because they make the drops much more common than I uh, originally had even thought. In addition, they, um... Let's close that door. Just so I can get a respawn there. Uh, they also really didn't push it too much, because it's such a late-game ability. Which it should be, because in most Metroids, they make it really late-game. Hey, how you doing, bro? Just, uh, leave me alone. Roll past the haters. There we go. So calm your tits. Just power down. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's one Metroid identified. Yeah, it seems like they're self-destructing their own base just to try and get rid of me. This isn't even, like, scary. Oh, now I remember how to get through here. They made it so that way we would have to use our, uh, grapple beam. Well, usually this stuff only happens once you have the requirements. Oh no, it was invisible. Mm. Right, and this is probably not something that you could remember because it's moving. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, bad move. So yeah, I have to get to the top of these mushrooms. Alright, so this is as close as I get. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry about all the uh, sick sounding stuff going on, including my voice. Pretty sorry about that. Although, I mean, if you want to talk about weird sounding voices, you should have seen me uh, this morning. Jeez, was that weird. Just making sure I got this guy. Get out of my face. Boop. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. I can blow up one of those crates, can't I? Okay, it was an explosive type one. Anything? Good lord, is it freaking dark here? Uh, so I wonder if there's a way we can get up there. It doesn't appear like it. Really? 
It's like not actually touching me. Nice job. Bad hitboxes. Which are actually rare in this game, to be honest. They aren't very common. Oh, okay. Another one of these invisi platforms. Ooh, okay. Huh. Alright, well, at least with this you can, like, see around the area. Here we go, what is it made out of? Benzium? Benzium. Boop. Close enough? Yep. There you go, so now we got... A... Another one? Jeez, I think you use up two to get through this area again. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure this is either a, a oh f f f f f f. It's either a quick way out. <coughs> it's not a f. It's a quick way out, or it's a uh, way to get access to something. I mean, if you wanted a quick way out, you just take all the damage. So probably the former rather than the latter. Did I get it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's be smart this time. Let's jump up here and immediately attach ourselves. <laughs> now, if this uh, wasn't an ability or something, I would be very surprised. Hello. Oh, it would seem this is just a pickup. Sweet. Good for us with our 100%. Ah, oh, I thought I'd be a cool guy if I caught it. Oh well. The random phase on is nice, but it seems kind of annoying from the player's perspective. Doing that to make sure I don't uh, mess it up. There we go. You can be very careful with the spider ball. It's very, very easy to just totally mess everything up. Oh, hey, are you new? Oh, I... What? I thought I even scanned you guys. Apparently I'm wrong. Boop, boop. Oh, you guys resist this. Okay, so I, I gotta friggin' end you like this. Wait, why did it sound like acid? These guys kind of remind me of an enemy from uh, the second game. Uh, second Prime. Not not Metroid 2, but Metroid Prime 2. Oh, so you do require... Huh. Well, will you look at that. You do need this. Interesting. Alright, so this is what we need. <coughs> for progression. Good thing I picked up both of it. <laughs> or else I'd be looking pretty stupid. Because uh, I'm, I'm my memory when it comes to most games, it gets fuzzier and fuzzier as you kind of go on. Oh, what are these guys? Just generics. Awesome. Get wrecked. I hear you calling. Where you at? Oh, I see you. Ow, that hurts. Oh, okay, so there's somehow weird hitboxes. Oh, Jesus, that did a lot of damage. Whatever, we're going to be able to come back here later. And uh, we'll be safe from phase-on exposure. 
So we'll take care of that at a latter point. Oh, you are the enemy that I hear a lot of people complain about, but I don't have problems with. The Hunter Metroid. Hmm. So the interesting thing about uh, Phazon is that it really causes Metroids to change, like, incredibly. Uh, in particular, some Metroids evolve differently than the basic strand of Metroid does. Hunter Metroids are a great embodiment of this. Uh, since the Chozo created Metroids, even what the Chozo create can be tainted by Phazon. And uh, there, are, there are much more interesting variations of this in later Primes. But we'll, we'll see them later. Kind of as we go on here. So really something uh, interesting is that Phazon seems to be a Prime exclusive thing. It's never been brought into the mainline Metroid games. Uh, and I'm curious if it will remain a Prime exclusive when the next game is released. Or even if there is a perhaps another Prime or any other game coming out for Metroid. Because the day when it does happen, uh, I will be a very happy man. So the other thing about these guys is that they uh, stop when you grapple them. And I forgot about that feature. So you always have to time it, and I timed it horribly wrong. Well, I didn't time it horribly wrong. I had to get over here at some point. So I could do it from here. Their faces look like Metroids a little bit. I mean, they don't even do any harm to anything. They're just there. They also have a very basic name as a species. <laughs> I wish Gliders had a cool name. <clears throat> a lot of these names are basic. And my ears are now weird. Wait, what? Alright, fuck it. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> the only logical thing I could think to do. Blow everything up. Ah, okay. Okay, not supposed to do that yet. Ow. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I see your game. Mm. <laughs> I see. How about screw that noise and I'll just do this. I can hear the pickups and they are taunting me. Oof. Jeez. Oh. Uh. Alright, basics. So. I do appreciate how uh, these are relatively basic to take care of. I appreciate how the Metroid students will cry to in tell you they've initiated their aggro. Hmm, doesn't seem to be any reason to go down there yet. Oh, bollocks. Wait, what? Okay, really easy missile expansion. Let's friggin' go. Ow. Oh, now it makes sense why I wasn't supposed to touch any of this. That's why these mushrooms are here. Because there's phase on, and it can be very annoying if you were to touch it. Okay, so now it's time for the basic visor, which kind of sucks. Nope. Now, is this point... Ooh, do I, do I go ballsy? No, let's not do that. There we go. 
la da dee la da doo la da dum now I think I'm supposed to go to the one to the left yeah that's the progression way so uh, just for the sake of it no actually it's not the progression path interesting what could be in here a save station no it's a missile reload station or a map no that was missiles yeah alright well that works missile stations are actually uh, from what I can tell and from what I know very rarely used in this game by all means which is uh, kind of interesting because you think they would put more into it since it's a new thing oh I missed it oh okay I'm being punished for it all right oh boy that is quite far along all right so once I go through the store we're gonna stop here cuz uh, just realized how far along this episode is that should be good just to ensure everything is proper there we go and then we'll go through here and there are how much room Oh, that's one big room? Alright, so we're we're right near the boss. So in the next episode, uh, finally, finally, we will get to this freaking pirate. So considering that the pirate basically marks the last boss before the end of the game, uh, there's not much left. So I thank you for joining me so far. And, uh, well, until the next episode, I'll have to see you guys later. But in any case, I hope you've enjoyed. So, yeah. Oh, we're going to have fun with this Omega Pirate next episode. Also, uh, today, since I want the Omega Pirate done, uh, you're going to get two episodes. So I hope you guys enjoy that factor. Till the next episode, though. Bye!